Sunday afternoon after dinner. I'm just washing the dishes and then this song came on the radio. Immediately my memories flew right back to 1969 when the song was recorded by my friend Benny Thurman. I went over to the bookshelf and looked in the old scrapbooks at pictures from back in that time. Great memories. And I think I'm going to have one last trip to England. It's been a long time while I still can. Now I don't know exactly where he lives but I know a lot of people that know him so I'll just contact them. Off to the Portland International Airport. I'm just wondering who I need to contact first to find Benny Thurman. Portland to Newcastle with a seven and a half hour layover in Amsterdam. First step is to go to Ellie's Music Club here in Amsterdam. It is our pleasure to welcome you to Amsterdam. We have experienced sure. a nine hour time change. I'll see a Darman and Heron. Picture on this wall, a moving picture. Ah, oh, here we go. Exit, oh that's an exit. Here she comes. Everybody's waiting with great anticipation. A bit further down the canal. I think this is the, oh yes, this is the one. You could say I'm on a mission. I'm trying to find Benny. Do you know where he is? I think I know where he is. She suggested that I go back across the canal into downtown to Johnny's Coffee Bar. She said she heard that he'd been there recently. Check these poor stickers to see if he's playing anywhere local. <laughs> Lord and Lord's Peace. While the man is green, good souvenirs. I was wondering if you know where Benny is at. Okay, thank you. Oh, really? Okay. I know where he lives. <laughs> She saw him two years ago and said that he was living above a cheese shop just down the strasse from here. So off I went. I kept looking for a Benny Thurman sticker on these telephone poles but to of no avail. I thought he might be playing locally or something. The landlady said that he'd moved about nine months ago and that I should check with the owner of the cheese shop downstairs. Her name was Greta. I think I know where you'll find him. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll try that. She told me that he'd gone back to England. So I headed back to the airport as I was going to Newcastle. There's millions of people come down here all the time. And that's how these shops survive. Little, uh, the chops and stuff like that. Well, here we are at the train station. Everybody's looking confused, just like me. Very nice Euro stop, there you go. to Newcastle to continue my search for Benny. I was taken from the airport to Vera's place. She knew everybody in the music business so I asked her. I think I know where he is, maybe. He might be down the loft. 
Let's go find them now. Gina's Windmill Restaurant with live music. I think I know where you'll find them. <laughs> Benny played in this tavern a lot. I'll speak with the owner right now. I was wondering if you had seen anything of Benny. I haven't seen him for about 50 years. Have you got any phone numbers or anything? I think I know where he is, funny that. He said that he had had a medical event and was now living down in Barnsfield for the last eight months or so. We headed off to the train station and I bought a ticket. Are you sure? Then met up with some friends at a local pub. <laughs> the what? Nobody ever gets me. I do now. <laughs> hey! I don't know I'm glad we're look awful. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we like. That's what the white says all the time. I don't know. Yes. Electricity. Oh, no, it didn't. Next morning, bright and early. I was at the train station, only to find out that there was a train strike. It looks like I'll just have to hitchhike. stopped informed me that the rail strike was over and gave me a ride to the train station. Right. <laughs> My imaginary friend is better than your imaginary friend. That's the whole issue with religion. <laughs> I'll take you there now. Well, hello, Benny. Good to see you, mate. How are you doing? Is that you, Chan? Man, it's good to see you. I brought me guitar. Do you remember this? This is the first song that you wrote. Remember? into jazz chords. Yes, I was into jazz chords back then. Benny got up to go out for a smoke, so I looked around this common room area at the other residents. 
There's no wrong with me yet. There's something wrong with him. Who's the thing he is? There's nothing wrong with me. Well, that fellow over there's crackers. I've heard it. Huh? He has been very well lately. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Still nothing wrong with me. I've been here ages and there's a, a bus hasn't passed here for about 20 years. Do you remember that time we were in the service station at was at Washington Services and we saw our first microwave oven back in 19, what would it be? 70 or something? That's right, you came here when you were a child. Um, Boy, it's warm in here in these, these establishments. I'm just going to take my coat off. So it's really warm in here. For any of Mr. Thurman, Mr. Thurman, what? it's time for your medication. It's time Medi for your medication, honey. I don't need medication. I'm not the person that you think I am. Everybody thinks there's somebody else here, honey. Come on, take your pills now. You know you take these every day. Come on now. Don't give me a hard time. This is my first day. I'm still getting acquainted with people. But you're at number 42, and number 42 has bills. If you want them in applesauce, I can do that. But I don't want an argument, or I'll get the orderlies. You don't want that. Do you need me to hold him down? Some more medication. I don't know where he is, but I think he's going on there. Can't go in that door. <laughs> 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 uh, I came back for my medication. Thank you. 